as firefighters enter a roof, it's important for them to cut an inspection hole to determine the direction of roof construction and type. One method which can help you identify roof construction is to take your 8-foot tool and place the handle into the side of the building. The firefighter can then drop the tool and where the head of the tool lands will be a structural member, either a purlin or a rafter. The sounding firefighter will then sound to locate the structural member and give an indicator to the sawyer of where the inspection hole should be cut. As a reminder, inspection holes should be made opposite the direction of travel so as to not impede egress in an emergency. The sawyer will then move into place making his first cut at a 45 degree angle from the identified structural member with his back towards an exterior wall. The second cut will typically be parallel with the identified structural member and the third and final cut will typically be perpendicular. The importance of these cuts are not as important as the first cut being a 45. After the sounding firefighter breaches the hole, he will go down and look and or feel for the direction of the construction. He will then notify the company officer and the sawyer which direction the main beam goes. Once the inspection hole is made and roof construction is confirmed, the ventilation team will move to their area of operation. While moving to the area of operation, smoke indicator holes may be indicated. The sounding firefighter will mark the spot and the sawyer will move into position. Smoke indicator holes are three small cuts in the form of a triangle that need only be big enough so that the sounding firefighter's tool handle can go through to breach attic space or false hanging ceilings. The kerf cut is typically used to identify the boundaries of fire spread. A quick plunge with the saw through the building material will complete the cut. 